Now in this uh, question 112, which is based on astronomical telescope, it says that it has an objective and eyepiece of focal length 40 and 4 centimeter respectively. So let us suppose it has an objective of 40 centimeter and eyepiece of 4 centimeter. This is what is given to you. Now to view an object 200 centimeter away from the objective, the object is somewhere here, u is equal to, you can say, minus uh, 200 centimeter. So here is the object. You have to first calculate what is the position of the image. It is asking you the lens must be separated by, you have to find out the separation of them. So first you calculate what is v, using the formula 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f. If you substitute the values, this is 1 by v plus 1 by 200 is equal to 1 by this 40. So v will be coming out to be 50 centimeter. So separation must be at least 50 plus this 4 centimeter, 54 for normal adjustment because this is the position of the image, you see, plus this 4 centimeter. So 54 centimeter will be the correct answer for this uh, question. You understand this is 50 plus this 4 centimeter. If you think that it is not the normal adjustment rather some other adjustment but still the value will be more than 50, isn't it? So you don't have any option which is more than 50. It's only one option which is more than 50 that is 54. So I am marking answer 54. Now let us switch over to next question, question 113. Now in this uh, question 113, you have uh, this question based on circular motion and it is non-uniform circular motion. The radius has been given, you see a uniform circular disc of radius 50 centimeter that is 0.5 meter is given. At rest is free to turn about an axis which is perpendicular to, perpendicular to its plane and passes through its center. Now it is subjected to a torque which produces a constant angular acceleration, alpha has been given to you its net acceleration, net acceleration means tangential as well as centripetal acceleration and Pythagoras of that. So let us suppose I talk about the tangential acceleration, so it will be alpha into r. Now what is alpha? Alpha has been given 2 and r has been given 0.5, so this comes out to be 1 meter per second square. And what is centripetal acceleration? This is omega square r. Now what is omega? Omega is simply alpha into t, you see alpha is 2 and time is 2 second, 2 to the 4. 4 square multiplied by r is 0.5, so this is 8 meter per second square. Now if you take the Pythagoras of both of them, 8 total, it will be under root 8 square plus 1 square. Now the closest answer is what? Closest answer is 8, isn't it? If you take the Pythagoras of these two, still it will be approximately 8. So they are asking you to calculate the approximate answer, it will be 8 meter per second square. I am marking answer 2 for this question 113. Now let us look at next question that is question 114. In this question 114, which is based on refrigerator, the source and sink temperature has been given or you can say the cold reservoir and hot reservoir temperature has been given. It has been given that it works between 4 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius. It is required to remove 600 calorie. This Q2 has been given as 600 calorie. You can call it 600 into 4.2 joule. And this becomes proportional to the lower temperature. Lower temperature is, it is uh, 273 plus 4, isn't it? Now they are asking you to, in order to keep the refrigerated space constant at constant temperature, the power required, power required that means W is required. W is what? W is nothing but, it is the difference of temperature, it will be proportionality into that. 30 minus 4 that is equal to 26, you understand? So ultimately what you have to do, you have to write it as 600 into 4.2 divided by W is equal to this 277 divided by 26 and you have to calculate the value of W, that comes out to be 236.5 watt, you understand? So I will be marking answer fourth for this question 114. Now let us look at next question that is question 115. Now this is the question 115 which is uh, making you compare 
be work done in isothermal and adiabatic compression this particular question can be solved easily if you uh, take help of pv diagram if you look at uh, pv diagram for say compression so if isothermal compression is something like this then adiabatic compression is something like this if you remember isn't it adiabatic and this is isothermal you are starting off from some particular volume v and you are going say up to volume v by 2 so you can clearly see that the area under isothermal compression is lesser compared to adiabatic compression so adiabatic or fast compression will be requiring more work to be done compared to isothermal work done so the options are something like that now the question reads that a gas is compressed isothermally to half its initial volume the same gas is compressed separately through an adiabatic process as i have mentioned here until its volume is again reduced to half in the both the cases the initial and final volumes are v and v by 2 respectively now which of the case whether compression through isothermal or through adiabatic process requires more work will depend upon the atomicity of the gas this is not the scene whether it is monatomic diatomic or triatomic this will always be true that adiabatic compression will be requiring more work understand so this is not the correct option second one is compressing the gas isothermally will require more work to be done wrong answer compressing the gas through adiabatic process will require more work to be done this is the correct answer answer 3 fourth option says that compressing the gas isothermally or adiabatically will require the same amount of work this is not the correct option we have marked option 3 for question 115 now let us look at next question that is question 116 Uh, now this question 116 is based on Young's double slit experiment in short we have written YDSE it says that the intensity at the maximum in a Young's double slit experiment is I0 and you have to find out the intensity at some other position so you can you know in this question use the formula I is equal to I0 cos square 5 by 2 part difference or phase difference if you can calculate phase difference is 5 now it says the distance between the two slits is 5 lambda and uh, where lambda is the wavelength of light used in the experiment what will be the intensity in front of one of the slits in front of the one of the slits means x is equal to d by 2 so you have to use this expression to calculate part difference if you remember this is a short formula you had part difference delta upon this uh, small d small d is 5 lambda given to you x value is given to be 5 lambda by 2 and this d value is given at 10 d and d is 5 lambda so d is equal to 50 lambda so here you can write 50 lambda now if you calculate delta what do you get what do you think what are you getting here you are simply getting uh, delta is equal to lambda by 4 isn't it and lambda by 4 corresponds to angle phi as 90 degree so this 90 degree is to be substituted here so if you calculate the intensity i this becomes i naught cos square 45 degree what is cos 45 this is 1 by root 2 so square of that that makes it i naught by 2 so i will be marking answer 1 for this question 116 now let us switch over to next question that is question 117 